beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a coral look, the one that you see here on my face. Because we are in the season of summer, I decided to do a color that speaks summer and what other color than coral. Coral is like the it color for summer. So I decided to do this look and this is what happened. If you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, keep on watching and let's get started. Okay, so for the first shade, I'm taking the Too Faced palette, the Sweet Peach. The first shade I'll be using is Summer Young. So this is going to be my transition and my base color. So I'm going to just put this all over my lid. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking, oops, now I'm going to be taking the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 2. The second palette that they came out for their blushes. I'm going to be taking the color Tau. So I'm going to be putting this right underneath my crease. Just, just here. Put some brightness. And then I'm also placing it on the lid. So it looks more cool. I, mean, I am trying to do like more of a coral look today, you know? And then go back and blend out in the harsh line. Staying in this palette, I'm going to take Sola in the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I'm going to use my finger to apply this shade on my lid. So I start off in the center and then I bring it out to the sides and I'm going to bring it up slowly. I like to use my finger for um, the metallic shades. You can use a brush if you'd like. That don't matter. But I just feel like the finger works it in better. And I'm not going to use the shade wet. I'm going to keep it dry. And then taking that towel shade again, I'm going to go right between that and my transition shade. So towel is like, towel is my transition between Sola and Summer Gum. Now back to the Sweet Peach palette. I'm going to take the shade Bellini. I'm going to use my finger again, I'm going to use a different finger. And I'm going to keep this in the center, this is so it's kind of like a spotlight for my eye. Keep it in the center, and then just kind of diffuse it with your finger. But it's like a baby champagne rose gold, like a baby, it's like a baby rose gold. So it's not, I don't know if you can see the difference. This one is Sola, and this one was Bellini. So they're both in the rose gold family, but one is just more intense than the other. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm taking the shade Bronzed, my Ride or Die shade. And I'm just gonna pop this on my brow bow. Right there. It's like this shade was meant to be on my brow bow. That's looking good. I like this. I like where this is headed. Okay, so today I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner but I have a video on that so you can go watch what that looks like in depth. I'm gonna do my winged eyeliner and apply my lashes off camera and then we'll get to the rest of the look. So for lashes today, I'm using the Dodo Lashes in style D302. I'm gonna put these on, do my winged eyeliner and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my eyelashes on and my wings are fleeky, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and start my face. So I'm going to start off by spraying my face with my Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I'm going to need to get more. Look at this. I'm almost done. I'm going to go ahead and take my Master Prime by Maybelline. Really, I think really my nose is what needs it the most. My nose and then right here on my forehead. Okay, so my current foundation routine, I have been liking the Cover FX Treated, um, the Cover FX Treated Concealer. I'm just putting this over my dark spots. Whenever I stress out, it's over. My like, forget having clear skin. <laughs> so now I'm taking my Beauty Blender. I'm taking the butt of my Beauty Blender, and I'm just going. Uh, to soften out all those edges of concealer so when I go ahead with my foundation you don't see them. That's not bad. 
set it's not bad at all so for today's foundation I am going to change things up just a little bit I'm still taking my L'Oreal True Match C8 but this time I'm going to mix it with my cover effects drops just for some added coverage and the drops are in N100 I'm gonna do like two drops no I'm gonna do like one okay two oh. You're not supposed to use the drops alone, and I was using them alone for like a month before I figured out you're supposed to mix it with something. And depending on the amount of drops is gonna tell you how much coverage you have. So three to four drops is full coverage. You should be using more than that. <laughs> this poor headband of mine is gonna be covered in my foundation. I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro in Fawn. This whole, do you know what? The water needs to stop coming out of this. so pigmented. Starting to blend with the Handy Dandy Beauty Blender. I was using Beautiful Bronze as my concealer, but I realized that it was like too close to my skin color and not adding the brightness that I wanted in my face. I feel like this Beauty Blender dries out so quickly. I just wet it. So to set everything that I just put down, well, to set my under eyes, and my chin and my forehead, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I'm not going to bake, I'm just going to press this in until it disappears. So, um, for my face powder, I'm using the Lancome Dual Finish Powder in the shade 520 Suede. I've hit pan. It's a sad moment. Okay, so for bronzing today, I'm back with the Masquerade palette, and I'm using the shade Fulani. And my favorite bronzing brush at the moment, which is from Sonia Kashuk. This shade never, never fails me. Every single time, it just, it's just perfection on my face. Just go ahead and get in there. This poor headband is so dirty now. To contour, I'm taking my Joe Blasco in the shade Ebony. Taking this shade. Ooh. Something very magical is happening on my face. That the contour is just. Now for the floor here. I'm using another Sonia Kashuk brush. It's just a flat. It's just a flat brush. So I've already taken off the excess. I'm gonna just go ahead right here and snatch my nose. I'm hungry. Oh, I need to get some snacks. I'm gonna use this. I've never used this blush before, and I'm a little worried. It's very orange. I'm taking that orange shade. I'm taking Toby. Let's see. I don't see. Oh, it's there. I don't. I'm having mixed feelings about this. This Toby as a blush. Um, let's see. It almost doesn't even look orange. It almost looks pink. How? How is it looking pink? How? A, a mind blow. I like Toby. Toby works. So I'll be taking Neo and I'm just gonna run that on my lash line, on my lower lash line. So I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil in, um, this is number three. I like to use um, concealing pencils or like nude pencils over white. Because white is just so unnatural, and this does the same job as a white would. Oh my gosh, I can see the eyeshadow in my eye. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be using the Voluminous Fiber Lash Mascara from L'Oreal, and I'm gonna do that on my bottom lashes. <coughs> what is wrong with me today? Oh my god, I almost poked on my eye. Oh, today's just not my day. Okay, so now that I have that done it's time to highlight and you guys know this is my favorite step 
I am going back to my old ways. I'm going to be taking the shade bronzed. I mean, you guys, like, there's a reason I love this shade. Okay, so I'm going to do something different. I'm going to switch my brush because I want to see which one I like more. So I'm going to use a different brush on the other side. Because I'm obsessed with the, I'm obsessed with the Morphe Fine brush for highlighting, but uh, I'm gonna use the Y14 from Morphe and see if I like it more. It is smaller, and the bristles are different. I want to say these are synthetic bristles, so it does blend differently. Um, not in a bad way. I actually don't mind. I like this brush. I'm gonna do my temples. My back. Oh. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh, too much highlight. Too Let's just mark that a little bit. Or a lot of it. Okay, so pretend that didn't happen. We're moving on. Highlight my nose and my upper lip using my small um, brush that I got from Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna go right here. And this spot on my nose right there. And I'm gonna go right here. Into my eyes. So for my inner corner highlights, I'm gonna be using Moonstone. I mean, well, yeah, I'm using Moonstone. Um, you know, Moonstone is a little, Moonstone is cool toned. It's got silver. I'm just gonna roll it up. I'm just gonna do, do the darn thing. It's just everything else is so gold and Moonstone is like so silver. But oh well. It's on my face now, so. It's just I have to stay. Can I see free snacks? I have to have snacks on deck, y'all. Girl gets hungry. Mm. I just snack healthy, you know. Keep it in shape. But I'm using the lip color All Fired Up from MAC. And you can use the lip liner current if you want. You can use Dark Out. There's so many other lip liners you can use, but I'm gonna use Chestnut today. That is bright, and I love it. Oh my god, it's so great. Whenever, um, so I basically put my lipstick over my lip liner so it blends, like, perfect. See? You never want to leave, like, your lip liner and then have your lipstick. You don't want to see the two, I do this. Fantastic. A girl gets hungry. I need, like, real food. Hey guys, so that is the end of today's tutorial. I'm really, I'm really happy with the way things turned out. This coral with a dewy skin and a bold wing. Um, if you guys like this video, you know, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, please click the subscribe button. Come on now. And if you guys want, leave comments down below things that you'd like to see on my channel. You know, I'm thinking of maybe doing some makeup challenges. Those crazy challenges, I think I'm feeling up for it. So stay tuned for those. If you guys want to follow me on all my other social media pages, I'm on Twitter, Snapchat, and I'm on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next video. Stay fierce. I'm out of snacks.